Hey guys, I wanted to take a few minutes and follow up with y'all for my sermon on Sunday, just adding a little bit that I didn't have time to add to it and kind of strengthening uh, what I shared with y'all. If you are not here with us in person or you did not catch the live stream, you can go to our YouTube page or our website and watch that sermon there. But this last Sunday, I preached on how to make the most profitable or the most valuable uh, resolutions. With this being the week of New Year's Day, there are many people that are making New Year's resolutions. Now, that could be you or it might not. Biblically, we don't have to make New Year's resolutions. It's fine if you do, fine if you don't. But as I preach Sunday, there is a biblical precedent to we as Christians evaluating our lives, uh, looking into our present, looking into our past, seeing areas uh, that we are excelling in, seeing areas that maybe we could grow a little bit and others that need a complete overhaul. And so I'm going to evaluate myself and see uh, areas or ways in my life that I need to change and that I need to grow more mature in my walk with the Lord. Now, it's very easy to make resolutions, whether they are New Year's resolutions, where whether they're just resolutions in your general Christian life that you want to grow more faithful with the Lord. It's incredibly easy to make resolutions and then uh, very quickly or either just eventually over time fall away from those. And so I want to share with you six uh, principles to making sure that your resolutions stick. Okay. Now I got every one of these from a man named Tim Challies. You can find his website, challies.com. That's C-H-A-L-L-I-E-S, uh, challies.com. He is one of my favorite bloggers. He uh, post something every day and has for like 15 years or more. Uh, but a great guy, great minister he's got there with this blog. But this was taken from an article that he wrote uh, several years ago. And I just want to share these with you and comment on them some. First principle to making sure your resolutions stick and that you can fulfill them is to resolve, don't wish. Resolve, don't wish. Here's what I mean by that is don't make compulsive resolutions at 11.55 New Year's Eve. When you're watching Dick Clark's Rockin' New Year's Eve or whatever you're watching and you're hearing the celebrities and everybody else on there state what their resolutions are and you think, oh yeah, I haven't made my resolution yet. What can I do? And then whatever pops to your mind. Those resolutions aren't one, ones that's going to stick. Seeing a meme or a picture on Facebook, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, and thinking, you know what? That sounds like a good resolution. That's something that I need to make. Those types of resolutions are ones that you've lost and failed at by the end of the week. And so what Charlie's is saying and what I encourage you is uh, to think well about this. As I talked about Sunday, evaluate your life. Okay, don't make your plans the things you wish were true about your life. Make them the things you know that you know need to be true about your life. Okay, not just wishes, but needs. What are some areas in my life that I need to grow and then resolve to accomplish that? Even if you haven't done it already, begin to plan, evaluate your life. You can even talk to your spouse, your children, your friends. Your Sunday school class, find areas of weakness and pray carefully over them. Second principle to making sure your resolutions stick is make just a few resolutions. One is best, uh, but two or three at most. We can easily be overwhelmed uh, when we have too much to do and too much to change. With something small, we can focus and we can see something that is achievable. Sometimes in counseling, uh, spouses will come in and oftentimes the wife will have a list of about 40 things that she wants the husband to change in his life. If she gives a lift, if she gives a list that long, even a list a quarter of the size of that, a list of 10 things, do you know how many things that husband is going to change? Zero. But if we begin to work on areas in his life or her life, one or two at a time, they absolutely can achieve those. And so I say the same thing for you. Don't look for a complete overhaul unless your complete overhaul needs to be to give your life to the Lord, but find one area, two or three at most, that you can change and uh, seek to be faithful in those areas. Third, make a plan and be specific with that plan. Make a plan and be specific with that plan. Be specific on your goal, all right? Not just to know the word more, but how do I want to know the word more? memorize more scripture, study the Bible more, go to church more, be specific with it, okay? Even if you want to memorize more scripture, that's still very general. How about making a goal of, I want to memorize 50 verses this year. I want to memorize a book of the Bible. It's possible. 
I've memorized the books of Ephesians, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, the Sermon on the Mount. I'm about halfway through 2 Corinthians right now. And so, or, and so memorizing large portions of Scripture is possible. And so be specific. What's your goal? 25 verses, 30 verses, 50 verses. All right, maybe it's a certain amount of books you want to read uh, in the year. I, I, I want a goal of reading 15 books that will edify my life this year and memorize a, a, a book of the Bible. So be specific, and then be specific on how you will accomplish your goal, okay? Even if it's, I want to exercise so that I can be more healthy with my body and be more faithful with what the Lord's given me. I'm going to work out Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 3 p.m. when I get off work. I'm going to work out Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays at, at 7 in the morning. Be specific, all right? Fourth, Share your resolution. Don't keep it within. But the Lord, the Lord did not create us to be Lone Ranger Christians. He created us to live in community and to need accountability. So share your resolution, not necessarily on Facebook. Oftentimes that can be a way of virtue signaling uh, and to let everybody know how awesome and holy you are. Not that it's wrong to share it, but it's not always best to share. But what I mean by sharing your resolution Find two or three people in your life who you trust, who can hold you accountable, who will check in on you and help you. The fifth principle, plan for temptations and setbacks. Plan for temptations and setbacks. And guys, this is why in our resolutions, faithfulness must be our goal. Our goal must not be to be perfect in these resolutions, but rather I'm going to find resolutions that's going to help me to be more faithful to the Lord this year than I was last year. Because here's the thing, you can be 80% or, or you can only meet 80% of your goal, but if that helps you to be more faithful to the Lord, then you reached your goal of being more faithful to the Lord, right? And so we need to go into this understanding that it is highly unlikely that we're going to be perfect in this. And so the Lord gives us grace. Let's give ourselves grace. Let's shoot for faithfulness. And if we blow it, if we mess up, praise the Lord for grace, repent, move on and get back to faithfulness. And then lastly, our sixth principle, pray. Proverbs 16, 9 says, the heart of a man plans his steps, but the Lord establishes his steps. We can make all the resolutions in the world, but without the Lord working inside of us and giving us the strength, they're not going to come to fruition. And so these six principles from Tim Challies, again, resolve, don't wish, make just a few resolutions, one, or, one is best, two or three at most. Make a plan and be specific with that plan. Share your resolution, not necessarily on Facebook, but with faithful friends who can hold you accountable. Plan for temptations and setbacks. Seek faithfulness. And then sixth, pray. I hope this has been an encouragement. Do you hope it's been helpful to you? If you're looking for a church home, we would love to have you here at Camellia Baptist Church. Uh, Sunday school, 845. Uh, worship at 10 o'clock. If you can't be with us here in person, you can find us on YouTube at youtube.com slash Camellia Baptist Church Prattville or at our website, cbcprattville.org. May God bless you.